In this video, I will be telling us on how to install 10 kVA Victron inverter. And uh, this inverter can be uh, switched on, on site or off site. And this installation is done by FH ICT Solar. And uh, we also combine it with the installation of the solar panel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Uh, the installation involves, uh, we can also add uh, Fronios to our installation. The advantage of Fronios is during the day, you'll be using the Fronios energy, direct sun energy without using the battery. This will be covered in the later video. And this is a sample of Victron inverter. It will be used for marine application, mobile, off grid. It has the charger and the inverter section. And uh, these are some of the batteries that we use for the installation preparation for the installation. Most of the installation we use a 10 mm wire, the cable to 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 to, 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 to power the uh, input and the output. We use a 32 amps charge controller and with 32 amps uh, change over then we use 250 100 amps um, charge controller and also for the installation we use a Yingli solar solar 320 watt panel and um, this is the array of the installation we have a uh, 16 of that 320 panel connected you know we have then um, it's connected in the in series and then the two eight are parallel. Please, you can like, subscribe, and share um, this video with other people who will be interested on how to install a thank you giving to inverter and as well as the carport. So, this is the installation of the carport. We try to put the carport in the panel together. Then, we need to put extra board to separate the load the one that will be on the inverter and the one that will be fully be on, put on the inverter and the uh, and NEPA. We have to pass the cable to do those separation for the inductive the inductive load that uh, that may, uh, may be draining the battery. So all these loads are still stay on the same KV inverter, but for us to have a long lasting uh, uh, backup time, so we need to do some load uh, separation. This is the uh, inverter itself, and uh, we will move the screw for you to see the uh, internal structure where the connections will be done. It has two points, two input points. Um, there is a particular point, the first part, the left hand side, can charge up to 140 amps at a go. That is, it can deliver 140 amps to the inverter for charging. And this part is what is connected to NEPA, and this is the battery terminal. This charge can be connected to generator. The input at the right hand side, and then the because it has a low charging charging uh, charging current, so it can be able to withstand if we have a smaller generator. This is the array of the battery. We use Decker battery, and then we have two bands because the inverter itself is 48 volt inverter. So because this 48 volt inverter, we connected to 48 volt in uh, in parallel, 12 12 volt four in series. The, uh, the first input, the, the first side is the input, the second side, the next one is the uh, uh, is the output, and then we have the battery terminal, we have the positive and the negative, uh, the negative point for us to do the connection. This is the simple installation, the change over, the charge controller, and then we have the AC circuit breaker, 100 amps, that is a single, single true double pole for us to be able to monitor the input and the output in case if there is overload for additional protection for the inverter. We also have light, lightning protection that can protect the inverter against a surge or any uh, any surge from uh, from the lightning so that uh, it will not damage the inverter. The inverter itself has inbuilt protection and it comes with 5 year warranty. It comes with 5 years warranty. But, uh, we still need to protect it with this uh, lightning uh, protector. Then uh, that is a uh, 250 uh, 250 volt 100 amp um, charge controller. This is the battery in operation to power the whole duplex, everything in the duplex, and uh, it is successfully tested to run the duplex without electricity 
for continuous and for two days and then more than two days without electricity it can power everything without switching it off it powers everything in the house morning afternoon and evening the orange light shows that the inverter is charging and it is on on nepa and then you can use the changeover either to put it from the uh, um, Nempa to generator or to full inverter. The switch has three modes on, off, and charging only. The upper one is when it is on. If you put it in the middle mode, that is when it is off. And when you put it at the last part, it means that we are only charging it. And if there is uh, outage, the inverter will not supply. When it is in the on position, it will be charging. And if there is outage, then the inverter we take over automatically. We don't even know that there is a NEPA failure because it is a, uh, it, the, the inverter uh, has a great uh, uh, or it is an online inverter that uh, powers all the device devices in the house. And this is a true sine wave inverter. This is no modified sine wave inverter. Then for the charge controller, we have the input for the battery. We have the input for the for the PV. Then this is the bulk charging, absorption charging. And float charging when it is fully charging, fully charged, then it shows float charging that is, it float charge the, the battery. And then the adjustment charging is when it is, um, it is almost getting full, and the bulk charging is when the battery is almost low and then is uh, it's charging it in, such, in a faster, faster rate. So we can switch it on, I put it in the on position, and this is the battery bank. This is the box for the battery. We have enclosed the battery in that black box and then to make it uh, neat and then to make it uh, accessible to, to the house so that it will not be the whole place will be will, will be will be clear of any uh, of any anything that the people can do. Uh, so we, we appreciate if you can like, subscribe, comment and share on the uh, on this channel. You can subscribe to our channel, you can share this channel and these are the panels that we use. We have 16 in the panel that we use for the connection and then uh, this is the carport before the panel we put on them. They say this is the connection. The left hand side is our input, the right hand side is our output and then this is the battery terminal. You can use a 50 mm battery or 70 mm to connect the battery, battery terminal. And the last connection is for the for the input if the amps of the generator you are using is low. So the absorption of the battery is that. Then this is testing of the voltage of the battery. We have 50.89 and that comes to 51.89 and 50.89. That comes to around 12.7 volt per battery. And this is the charging of the battery, telling us that the battery is good. This is why the battery is working. If the battery is not good, why it is delivering load, then the voltage will be lesser than this. This is load limiter. This one is used to test the if the battery is okay. The green part shows that the battery is okay. The yellow part shows that the battery is getting weaker and the red part shows that the battery is bad and the lower red part shows that the battery needs replacement. This is some of the array that we use in the uh for the for the uh solar panel before the installation on the carport for easy mounting and then for proper installation. So after the installation, this is how the whole thing looks like. We are able to complete the panel. You have 16 array in it, and this is how the inverter itself looks like. Thank you, and God bless. We appreciate your comments, your uh, feedback as we as we grow this channel together. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more updates, for more information. Thank you for your time.